today's video, my friend Jessica and I are going to talk about a, an AMWF long distance problem. What's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today I am here together with Jessica. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica. I live in Beijing and I have a Chinese husband from Beijing and I've been in China for seven years. There we go. Seven years. So she is our China master today. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. This video is yet another AMWF advice video. Remember, if you have a question, then please send me an email on info at Lena Around, or you can find me on social media, Lena Around, Facebook and Instagram. I'm very excited to hear from you. Yeah. Lately, I've received a few very interesting emails from some of you guys. So today we are going to talk about one of the emails where a girl is talking about a long distance problem. So yeah, do you mind reading it? It's a long email, but yes, I would yes. love to read it. The email is very long, so I've written a summary of it. So a Western girl has met a Chinese boyfriend after he'd gotten her WeChat from a mutual friend. When meeting, he made sure he didn't like Chinese girls. He made I've sure tried, to mention. I've tried that before, yeah. Yeah, he made sure that, to mention that <laughs> he didn't like Chinese girls because they only care about money. <laughs> this girl is afraid that her boyfriend, her now boyfriend, this Chinese guy, thinks because she's a Western girl, she doesn't ask for anything mm. and is afraid that that has led him to be disappointed. They started dating in China and he was doing the best to impress her with presents and nice dinners. He said he loved her, kissed and hugged her, and told her he would never leave her. Then she left China, since it hasn't been the same. Yeah. When she left, she cried many tears, but he didn't. She felt like he doesn't care. He apologized and said he was a guy and couldn't cry. So when back in her own country, she wanted to share everything with him, and she asked that he share everything with her, what he ate, where he went, and he tried to share a little bit, but he didn't send too many pics. They fought and he only said, oh, I'm sorry, it's my fault, don't worry. She thought he didn't want to talk it through with her and she's very affected every time they have been fighting. She can't concentrate about anything. A few days ago, the boyfriend bought her tickets to China. He said he couldn't pick her up in Beijing because they had to work in Tianjin that day. She freaked out. The more sad she felt, the more she texted him. He started ignoring her messages. They talked two hours on the phone, but then he said he was tired. She was frustrated with him. Thinks that he's just kind of spoiled and a kid who doesn't know how not to use technology and to have a conversation. She is pushing him to admit he doesn't love her, but he says he does. She's not convinced. She feels awful and have you had the same problem? What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> so what's going on? She thinks that Ling Ling's videos are so positive and it sounds like all Chinese guys are caring. Yeah. So why is hers not? By the way, I love that. I love the last part that it just sounds like everyone is so caring, so amazing. Yeah. And that's, that's great. Well, I guess it's because our videos are all like love stories. So. Yes, I think, okay, that was very long. I'm sorry, kind of. Sorry guys, yeah, very long. But, but it's, it's very detailed, which is mm -hmm. good. But there mm -hmm. are some certain points that I think are very important to talk about. So yeah. What do you think is the first important point? The first important point is definitely that they are in a long distance relationship and there is, I guess she is in either Europe or America somewhere and it, there is a time difference and he's working full time. So he's not able to be on the phone all the time and even if he wanted to, he also has other things to do. You know, mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm thinking and also he's a guy. Like, <laughs> here's a guy, we just, we just have to get used to that fact that guys just don't, you know, text as much as girls do. Like, That's true. And I do have to warn this girl because I, I believe that a guy, you, you know, he's really at his sweetest at the beginning. He really loves, you know, he's going to be the, the most into you at the beginning. So mm -hmm. if he's not super into you, then why are you like trying to push this? Yeah. But I do think he is into her. I really do because I think he, so too, yeah. he bought her mm -hmm. tickets 
her plane tickets, right? To China. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not just like a 50 quay little ride from like out of town to Beijing. Like, no. That's, that's an expensive ticket. Yes, it is. It is. And I do understand that she feels bad that he <clears throat> won't come and pick her up in the Beijing airport. I mean, so Beijing to Tianjin, for anyone who doesn't know, mm. is about a 30 oh, yeah. minute uh, fast train ride. Mm. So it's it would take 30 minutes by fast train, but to get to the fast train station and then get to the airport, which is far away from the fast Very train station, far. this whole entire process of going from Tianjin to Beijing and back would take probably about four or five hours. Many hours, yeah, because you have to go through a lot of security and there are a lot of people all the time and you have to queue mm -hmm. and queue and queue and yeah. And also, um, from what I understand, like when she mentioned in her emails, she kind of said that he uses phrases like mm. or mm. or mm. things. And I'm wondering if she communicates. I'm wondering if you out there <laughs> communicate with him in only Chinese. Mm. Um, I do think that kind of sheds some light on things. But I will say that talking on, for me, talking to someone on the phone for two hours is a long time. It's a long time. Like I'm a chatty person, but two hours, that's, that's like, and it, especially if he thinks that she's complaining. You know, because mm -hmm. if somebody keeps complaining for two hours, then two hours is even longer, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and here I think uh, self-reflection is probably important <laughs> as much as it's probably not what they want to hear, but no. um, self-reflection self would be really good. But yeah. also I do believe that, hey, a lot of Chinese people, I wouldn't just say Chinese people, a lot of people are addicted to their smartphones, yeah. right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> they are always checking their messages, yeah. so when he is ignoring you and he's not picking up your calls, you know I, that he's yeah, he's really ignoring you. Yeah, and I do believe that he cares for you because he bought you those tickets, but it seems like you want him to change. Mm. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. Like we we discussed it. Like if you if you want to change him now, and like yeah, she mentioned that oh, he promises that he won't will change, but. As we said, we, we talked about this before, like it's just you cannot change a person's personality like that. If he is not as you want him to be and you're not okay with like lowering your standards or like <laughs> say, you know, this whatever, I'm fine with that, then it's just, it's not gonna work out. Like, yeah. it's not. Because number one dating rule in any culture, any culture is don't try and change the guy's personality. Yes. Right? yes, for sure. Like, maybe he doesn't hold your hand in public. Like, I tell my guys to always hold my hand in public because they're too shy and they're like, oh no, people are gonna watch you. And I'm like, no, you hold my hand. Like, yeah, but that's <laughs> an action, that's not a personality. Yes. Right? Personality, characteristics, that's, ooh, that's hard. And I've also got to say that the girl mentions she thinks that he's a very spoiled man. I like from the email what I have read. I I don't think so. I think he's really no no. I don't think so. Have you ever been in a relationship or like had talks with guys who seem spoiled? Yeah yeah. I well I get maybe I'm just the most spoiled one. <laughs> yeah I'm. I grew up as a prince. I'm an only child actually. Oh, so I grew up as a I princess see. too. So I, I need to ask about this. <laughs> but um, I I think like the guys that are spoiled they always kind of brag about how smart they are mm. or how awesome they are mm. they're kind of, they come off as arrogant they come off as not into you or they She's expect not caring so much yeah. or they expect you to be kind of like their mom mm. or to take yeah. care of them yeah. like where's my dinner or <laughs> yeah. or yeah do like, this for me yeah why didn't yeah. you do that why didn't you help me do this mm -hmm. i feel like that's when it comes off as spoiled but she didn't yeah. mention that so no. maybe uh, in the email uh, elaborate why you thought it was spoiled because I didn't get that either yeah. from at least no. the email that yeah. was sent. Then another interesting point here is that she says, okay, if we are we argue a lot and then I freak out and I text him even more and then he just ignores me. And uh, I can totally relate to that because I'm like that too. If I freak out and then the guy starts ignoring me, then I'll just like push more and more and more. and. That's not the right way to go. <laughs> I've learned that. I've learned that. Uh, still hard to control though, but mm -hmm. I totally get it. So, you know, if you're sitting out there and watching this, you know, it's a, it's a very good idea to <sighs> take a deep breath and try to remember there is a man sitting in the other end and he really likes you, but if you keep pushing, he's gonna leave. And yeah. I've tried that before and they don't come back again, you know. <laughs> so 
I would say my best advice there is to do something else like turn off the phone and then go out and talk to people find some friends uh, go and talk to your friends or talk to your mom like somebody who's close to you or go for a run like oh my god going for a walk or a run I, that works wonders for me yeah. or exercising in general because I just I think about other things and then you can talk to him again when you feel a little bit more like <sighs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's that never never talk to someone or send them an email or text when you're angry kind of thing. Mm, There's yeah. like a 24 hour rule, just wait. <laughs> just 24 wait. hours. Yeah. But also, yeah, think about what have you done for him specifically. Mm. Mm. And maybe you can find some reasons that we don't know about that. I'm sure that's possible. But think, <laughs> like make a list. Yeah. Things I've done for him, things he's done for me, and see which list is longer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's actually a good one. You know? <laughs> or sit down, you know, grab your diary and get started on writing, you know, and write down why he's an idiot and why you're an idiot. And then when you have gotten rid of all of your thoughts, then you're ready to move on. That yeah. all also works very well for me. Yeah. So in this case, I, I think you're just going to have to accept the fact that he's not going to pick you up at the airport mm. and, you know, either go there and try to be the best girlfriend you can and make mm. this relationship work or you know, think about if you really want to be with this guy and yeah. if this is the personality that you want to be with mm. as a as a boyfriend. There yeah. are your choices, I think. I, I think. I think that's very good advice. And, and if you decide to come to China to see him, you know, enjoy it. Try to enjoy it. As yeah, much as you for can, sure. You know, it is still very nice of him. He bought the tickets. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Or else, you know, there are Chinese people everywhere. So I guess you could also find a Chinese boyfriend somewhere close to you. So true. It really depends. I'm not up for long distance anymore. Like I've tried that. I've been there, done that. You know, it's it's yeah no. <laughs> so yeah. So it seems like this this girl has a big choice to make. So let us know what choice you end up making. Please please uh, send us an email again how it all went down. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Jessica of course. for joining the discussion. And yeah, I remember if you have anything you want to know about AMWF. Uh, relationships you can always send me an email info at lanaround.com or lanaround on instagram or facebook we're looking forward to it remember to follow my social media instagram and facebook lane around and patreon lane around and we'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling and jessica is out see ya and bye bye, bye.